ವಂದೇ ವೃಂದಾವನ ಚರಂ ವಲ್ಲವೀಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭಂ ಜಯಂತಿ ಸಂಭವಂ ಧಾಮ ವೈಜಯಂತಿ ವಿಭೂಷಣ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯಾದವಾಭ್ಯುದಯ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನಂ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಬೈ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚಿತ್ತೂರ್ ಸಭಾ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನಂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಚಿತ್ತೂರ್ ಸಭಾ ಇಸ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಅ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ಸೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ um he is mainly taken from appaya dikshita's uh, commentary for yadavabhyudayam so uh, yadavabhyudayam is a work written by vedanta deshika and uh, appaya dikshita has commented upon vedanta deshika's uh, yadavabhyudayam this is a mahakavyam there are about uh, 22 sargas in this uh, for chittur the third level vichakshana we in the second paper we have this yadavabhyudayam prathama sarga alone and another text called neeti chandrika um which is a fairly easy text when compared to yadavabhyudayam um as far as the author is concerned you know he is a very well known author and uh, he has written a lot of text the commentator apayadikshita and vedanta deshika are actually uh, i should say they are on par with the number of texts that both of them have written so this combination is an is a wonderful combination because both have they know they understand kavyam uh, uh, the literature the world of kavyam so uh, he is if you take vedanta deshika who has written this work he is also an alankarika he has written a great work called paduka sahasram which is just filled with alankaras and uh, uh, prasam and all these bandhas you know very different kinds of shlokas and all that so he is also an expert the commentator who has written is also an expert who is appaya dikshita i am talking about now this person for the sake of chittur he has um, Uh, taken extracts from apedikshita's commentary uh, there may be some issues with the chittur book as such so i have supplemented it with uh, some explanations from the original text and from kovalyananda which apedikshita has written um we'll jump straight into the kavyam if you want further reading about vedanta deshika please google search the google has more information than i can give you or i can remember and give you okay so the first shloka here is vande vrindavana charam vallavijana vallabham jayanti sambhavam dhama vaijayanti vibhushanam <clears throat> this text is about yadava abhyudaya yadavasya abhyudayam adhikritya kritam kavyam yadava abhyudayam so abhyudaya is usually a pulling padam uh, yadavaha tu atra krishnasya eva tatra suchana vartate so krishnasya abhyudaya the birth of krishna and his growth that is his uh, leelas all of uh, right from his childhood and everything in the fourth sarga and all you find his leela the second sarga has the garbham of, uh, of uh, the description of uh, devaki's garbha the third sarga has how he travels from he is born krishna is born and then he travels to gokulam the fourth sarga has his bala leelas fifth uh, also has all that he, it is the moving from uh, gokulam to vrindavanam then you have the rasa krida for a couple of uh, sargas uh, he also goes up to uh, you know i think the mahabharatam war is also mentioned beyond in the later sargas i have not had a chance to look at the other sargas but in general it the, the, just like how the dashama skandha of bhagavatam uh, uh, covers is the major portion of the entire puranam and it covers a lot of bala leelas the same way this text also uh, covers a lot of those we are not going to read any of those bala leelas because in the first sarga uh, the the uh, it is only the preamble so it gives the chandravamsha uh, uh, varnana uh, who, how the vamsham the uh, uh, descendants of chandra like how surya vamsha you have it starts from Uh, surya and then you have uh, other manus etc ikshvaku etc etc in the same way here he will describe about the major kings who were there before uh, vasudeva uh, and what were their achievements like nahusha purur uh, puru um, pu- i mean pururavas 
Yayati. He only takes on certain uh, um, uh, main kings and then explains, describes them uh, as part of the Chandravamsha. Then he comes to Vasudeva. He talks about how uh, Kamsa um, has been, uh, a lot of these devas have been, a lot of Vasuras have been torturing this uh, Bhumi. Then Bhumi comes to Brahma and devas. Uh, she is uh, very, uh, uh, she is unable to bear the burden of this. They look at uh, uh, Narayana, they do a stuti to Narayana. And then Narayana decides to, Vishnu decides to take an avataram. The sarga ends with that. There are totally 100 shlokas here. Um, I will just give an explanation of the shloka, then we can read as we did for Raghuvamsha. Someone can read the, or I will read the Pratipadartha. We can go on from there. We'll see how it goes. Vande Vrindavanacharam Vallavijana Vallabham Jayanti Sambhavam Dhama Vaijayanti Vibhushanam. Every first shloka in a Kavyam is usually a form of a, it's called a Mangala shloka. It can be of many types, Ashihi, Namaskriya, or Vastu Nirdeshaha. These are three types. Ashihi is Tanotu Mangalam Ityadikam. So it, it's a kind of a benediction. That is, you offer Ashirvada, you pray to the God to uh, make the people happy or give them what they want, etc. etc. It is like an Ashirvada kind of thing where you are asking for the grace of the Lord to be there. The other is Namaskriya, which is where we start off with this Mangala Shloka, which is Vande. Iti. So Namaskriya is a form of Namaskaraha, which the author does to his Ishta Devata, or it the Ishta Devata can be the principal character in the Kavyam also. It depends. So here it so happens that Vastu Nirdesha is also there. Vastu Nirdesha means the plot is explained in the first shloka. In some way or the other, the plot will be indicated in the first shloka. So here our plot or our story itself is about Krishna. So it this Mangala Shloka becomes a uh, Namaskaratmaka Mangala Shloka. In a way, it is also a Vastu Nirdesha because Vastu here is Vishnu, who is the Supreme Lord here. Vande Vrindavana Charam. I bow down to Vrindavana Charam, the person who is uh, 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 roaming around in the Vrindavanam. Vrindavana. Vrindavanam uh, uh, to Tatra um, Mathura uh, Nagare Nagarasya Samipe Vartate. So it is very close to Mathura in the north, and this is where uh, Krishna uh, did most of his leelas there. So Vrindavane Charati iti Vrindavana Charaha, one who roams around in Vrindavanam. Tam Vande. I bow to Krishna who uh, is in Vrindavanam. Vallavi Jana Vallabham. He is also dear to Vallavi. Vallavi is uh, Gopanganastri, Gopis. He is very dear to the uh, group of uh, Gopis, that is cow, cow herds, cow, whatever, you know, the women of the cow herd people. So Vallavi Jana Vallabham. Vallabhaha is one who is dear to uh, Vallavi. Vallava is a jati. Uh, uh, of uh, those people who are in uh, who who uh, take care of cows okay it, it indicates their uh, caste or jati hmm? so vallavi jana vallabham one who is the priya or the dear one to uh, the ladies the gopis jayanti sambhavam one who was born in jayanti during jayanti so there is a discussion about whether we can use Krishna Ashtami here or not. Even before the birth of Krishna has been described here. We are going to describe the birth of Krishna only in the second Sarga. Because the second Sarga describes Devaki's Garbha. And then he is born at the end of, right at the end of the second Sarga. So this is, uh, how can we say Jayanti Sambhavam Iti? One who will be born in uh, uh, on the day where, which will be uh, called as Jayanti. And any day, uh, not only Krishnashtami, but any day where a, a great person is born is usually indicated by the word Jayanti. We have even Jayant, the word Jayanti for people like Gandhi Jayanti, right? So for Mahatma Gandhi also, we have we use that word Jayanti. 
तेषां जन्मना तत् तस् तद्दिनं तु सर्वोत्कर्षेण वर्तते इति इट इस इट इस अ डे व्हिच इस सेलिब्रेटेड एस द बेस्ट डे बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द पर्सन हु वाज बोर्न ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर डे सो द डे ही विल बी बोर्न इट इस गोइंग टू बी कॉल्ड एस जयंती सो जयंती संभवम वाईजयंती विभूषणम इस आल्सो वेयरिंग द वाईजयंती माला Vaijayanti Mala, before I did not know about this, it is also called Vanamala. The Vaijayanti has five different colors. Uh, apparently, to indicate the five bhutas, the five uh, panchabhutas of which this whole world is made of, all of these uh, uh, jantus in this world, the pranis, the living beings of this world are made up of the five bhutas. So the Vaijayanti Mala has so many flowers of five different colors also. It is very colorful Mala that uh, Vishnu always wears. It's also called a Vana Mala. It is a representation of the jivas that he constantly has on his chest. This is an explanation that uh, came, I think, uh, in the later Sargana Nikra. Yeah. I think it's there in the fourth sarga or somewhere. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that the vanamala is of different colors, and uh, that each it's it's a representation of the jivas. So vanamala vijayanti vibhushanam vijayanti mala malaya alankritam. One who has this uh, vijayanti as a vibhushanam, hmm? or uh, yeah, vijayanti vibhushanam. यस्य सह वैजयन्ति विभूषणं विभूषणः सह कृष्णः तं वन्दे सो ईच वन इज लाइक अ अदेन द वल्लभी जनानां वल्लभः दिस इज डायरेक्ट षष्टी हियर दिस विल बी अ बहुब्रीहि दिस विल आल्सो बी अ बहुब्रीहि जयन्त्याम संभवः यस्य इति सो टेक इट लाइक दैट धाम द वर्ड धाम हियर हैज मेनी मीनिंग्स According to the context, here you can take it as uh, Swayam Prakasha Swarupa. Dhamma also means Jyoti. It means a place. It means a residing place also. The residing place itself is the same as the person who is there also. You remember Ramakatha where we had Pastenna Yastu Darsharatir Bhutva Rane Hattva Charavanam ರಕ್ಷಲೋಕಾನ್ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಸನೋ ರಕ್ಷತು ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಧಾಮ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅಂಡ್ ಧಾಮ ಕೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ದ ಸ್ಥಾನ ವೇರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತದ್ ಧಾಮ ವಂದೇ ತದ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆಫ್ ಪರಮಂ ಪದಂ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿಸ್ ಪದಂ Uh, it is his paramam padam it is his final abode at the same time the abode is non different from vishnu himself just as how we see that this entire world is a transformation of vishnu and that this world is non different from vishnu himself in the same way dhama vaikunta all of these are non different from vishnu himself ha huh. this is in the 71st shloka correct adata ಪಂಚರೂಪಾತು ಯಾ ಮಾಲಾ ವೈಜಯಂತಿ ಗದಾಭೃತ ಸಾ ಭೂತ ಹೇತು ಸಂಘಾತ ಭೂತಮಾಲಾ ಚ ವೈ ದ್ವಿಜ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ಸಾರಿ ಯಾ ಇನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯಾ ಮಾಲಾ ವೈಜಯಂತಿ ಗದಾಭೃತ ಗದಾಭೃತಸ್ತು ಗತ ಗದಾಭೃತ್ ಇತಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ನಾಮ ಸೊ ತಷ್ಣು ಗದಾಭೃತ ಪಂಚರೂಪ ಮಾಲಾ ವೈಜಯಂತಿ ಇತಿ ದ ವೈಜಯಂತಿ ಮಾಲಾ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕಲರ್ಸ್ ಸಾ ಭೂತ ಹೇತು ಸಂಘಾತ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಂಘಾತ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಭೂತಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಹೇತು ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಾರಣ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಭೂತ ಹೇತು ಸಂಘಾತ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಭೂತಮಾಲಾ ಸಾ ಇತಿ ಹೇದ್ವಿಜ okay so the five different colors are mukta manikyam marakata indranila and uh, 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 hira that is vajram um, diamond these are the five different colors thank you vande vrindavanacha vallavijana vallabham 
Jayanti Sambhavam Dhamma Pai Jayanti Vibhushanam. So, someone can read the Pratipata Artha and then Visheshas, we can go slowly also. Uh, does someone want to go? Mathura is the correct one, but there are people who say that it is also Madhura. So, I don't know if I can read it. I don't know if I can read it. Okay, okay. Yeah, Mathura Putraka, Madhurava. Madhu, Dhuda Putraka. Ah, see, that's what uh, I think so. Mathuranga, I think Sanskrit, in Sanskritam, the name is that, and probably later uh, languages sort of influence, like, would have changed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, Sanchara Shilam. So, uh, so Tatra Sancharan Karoti, Tadrish. Mm. Mm. Vallavi Jana Vallavam Nama. Vallavi Jana Nam, Gopangana Nam, Priyam uh, Krishnam Miti. Mm. Uh, so, so Gopa Angana, right? Mm. Angana. Uh, Athava Gopanam Angana. Uh, Gopaha iti. You uh, take it as the uh, uh, Pulinga. Uh, uh, Gopanam Angana, uh, the women folk of the uh, cowards. Uh, okay. Gopangana Nam Priyam. Jayanti Sambhavam. So, Bhava Nama Birth Janma. So, mm. Jayanti Tyasmin Nakshatreva. Rohini Sahita Shravana Nakshatra Kadayad. Jayanti Ngarde, it is uh, Konjo difficult. Yakin Lava, Potripare, the Pati. Rohini Sahita Shravana Masasya Krishna Shtami. Jayam Punyan Chatanute Jayanti. Ah, Jayam Tanute. Correct. Mm. Mm. Aduda. But by saying Rohini Sahita, he seems to imply that uh, mm. the. Uh, the uh, uh, the, that occasion of Rohini rising in the sky in that particular month is mm. also, it brings, uh, brings uh, Jaya. Mm. Yeah. Seems to imply that. Nama. And the word Rohini itself seems to suggest rising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Jayam Punyam Cha Tanute Jayantim Tena Tam Vidu. Iti Paurani Kaihi Nirukta. Jayanti Sambhavam. Why Jayanti Vibhushanam? And for that, you said that it's the Manamala of five mm. different colors and you said the colors as well. But what is the source for that, Mahodaya? Well, Vishnu Puranam. Uh, first Amsha, 22nd Adhyaya and mm. 71st Shloka. If you look at the chat, uh, Lata has posted that Shloka. Okay. 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 So, Tatra. Okay. So, Tadrisha Vaijayanti Malaya Vibhushita Hai Yeshaha. Ah, yes. But if you look at the uh, some uh, Vigraha Vakim for this, you will take it as Vaijayanti Vibhushanam Yasya Iti. Yasya Tam Iti. Okay. Mm. So, Vanamala Alankritam, Dhamma, Dhamma, Dhamma Nama, usually Dhamma can be destination, home. Yes. Uh, uh, Dhamma uh, also means Prakasha, Maha, Tejaha. Oh, also means Tejaha. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. But in any case, it would still be Napumsakane, Dhamma Dhamani, Dhamani, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Mm. So, it, it doesn't matter here, you matter. know, because uh, you can actually say uh, Jyotihi, uh, Shivaha Jyotihi. Mm -hmm. You can make that equation. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't have to, the Linga Samyam doesn't have to be there. Correct. Okay, Dhamma. Swaprakasha Jyot. Okay, Swaprakasha Jyotirmayam. Uh -huh. Swaprakasha Jyotirmayam. Okay. One who is ever, ever, what is that? Ever, effulgent. 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 Because both are allowed, I have just left it like this. Vrindavana mityapi asti, Vrindavana mityapi asti. So, so Vrindavane go sancharana shilam Mugdha gopa Mugdha gopangana priyam Mugdha nama innocent 
मुग्धगोपांगना प्रिय कृष्णाष्टम्याम उद्भूत वनमालयालंकृत कृष्ण रूप प्रकाश सदा प्रणमा सो कृष्ण रूप प्रकाश सो द फॉर्म ऑफ कृष्ण इज कंसीव इज लाइट ब्यूटिफुल आरब्धस्य काव्यस्य निर्विघ्न परिसमाप्त भगवत्स्तुति मंगल आचरती वेदात देशिका बहुवचने आधार टू शो रेस्पेक्ट सो आरब्ध से काव्य से निर्विघ्न परिसमाप्त फॉर द फॉर कंप्लीशन विदउट एनी ऑब्स्टकल भगवत्स्तुति मंगल सो ए मंगल मंगलाचरण in the form of stuti for the for the bhagavan um acharanti so the, the vedanta deshika the, the poet vedanta deshika acharanti uh, observes so hmm. or, or conduct or writes this mangalam in the form of stuti for the devata iti so yeah like you said before the the first shloka is usually the mangala charanam is for ashihi uh ashir namaskriya vastu nirdesho yeah. vapi tan mukham hmm. so here it is it is uh, stuti could be namaskriya and also vastu nirdesha mm. yes Both, double uh, purpose so atra kramashah brindavana charam ityadi visheshana chatushtayena bhagavatah vatsalya saushilya saulabhya swamitva roopa guna chatushtayam uktam this is what googly that he puts here <laughs> suddenly <laughs> So, guna chatushta yam uktam. So, the four uh-huh. qualities of Bhagavan have been uh, have been said here. Kramasha uh-huh. instruments. So, in the shloka, brinda vana charam. That's how he starts. Itya. Yeah. Sheshane chatushta. So, there are four adjectives, and those four adjectives uh, correspondingly refer to vatsalya, the 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 love or the affectionate nature. Saushilya. Uh, so, the affectionate nature would come from what? Which? Ah, uh, would... so brinda vana charam. One who roams uh-huh. around in the brinda vanam. That is, it shows his. sneha towards uh, uh, the cows there right mm. because why did he go to brindavanam he had mm. to graze the cows so he had to take the cows out every day in the morning and mm. be with them uh, and he showered his love towards that uh, those cows so that shows his vatsalyam he looked mm. after them in such a manner as a mother would uh, for a cow for a mm. child so mm. that shows his vatsalyam mm. Mm. next is saushilyam good character गोपीशील्य जयंती संभव इज द सौलभ्य इवन दो यद्यपि सह धाम सह स्वयं प्रकाश ज्योति स्वरूप सह विष्णु सह वैकुंठे वसती तथा हि कम्स डाउन इन अ वेरी ईजीली आक्सेबल फॉर्म फॉर पीपल एंड हि वॉज बॉर्न ऑन जयंती सौलभ्य परमेश्वर सह तथा Saulabhyam. So basically, he is uh, uh, he is Vishnu in Vaikuntha, but now he is here on Earth. So he is so so Saulabhya. Yeah, and everybody looks upon him as a child, and they you know mm. Krishna. They, that's why they say you know, in the avataram of Rama and Krishna, the contrast mm. is Rama behaved atmanam manusham manye iti mm. you know the Ramam dasharat atmajam. He behaved mm. in that manner as mm. a man, but we all revere him as a god. Hmm. But Krishna, he, at every point, he shows that he is a god. He is sure that when that tiro bhuya na acharati sah, he he openly says, "Yes, I am." But then we look at him as our own child. Ah. Hmm. That's uh, his soul of him there. Hmm. Hmm. Soul of him. Swamitva roopa. Swamitva roopa means the. That's what I said. The pancha bhuta atmakam. If the vanamala is a uh-huh. representation of all the bhutas, uh, uh-huh. showing that he is the shesha and those bhutas are his sheshi. Ah, uh-huh. uh, sorry. He the those are the sheshas and he is the sheshi. Okay. Ah, yeah. uh, the other way around. 
so mm. part and whole all of these jeevas are his parts mm. sheshah mm. and he is sheshi one who has all of these jeevas as a, pa- a part of him so yeah. he is the whole there so there he becomes the person who is the in- inner controller of everybody antaryamte uh-huh. now this makes more sense after that shloka from vishnu purana uh-huh. uh-huh. that swamitvam makes more sense it's amazing uh, i mean so obviously like the the commentary from apai uh, dikshita does mention this the yeah. the four gunas mm. uh, but i'm just seeing if he mentions anything about this vijayanti no he doesn't villain na munadi sollirpen ama this is the first time i know about this vishnu purana rendu it's a beautiful clue <laughs> who's the commentary to that mohode shridhar swami so in the, now the this commentary this five flowers representing the five elements is it from shridhar swami or is it mentioned directly in the it, it is directly mentioned in vishnu purana oh, so okay. shridhar swami what he does is in hmm. bhagavatam he takes that shloka and comes here and quotes oh, oh. <laughs> so, okay and so now you have taken it from there to here oh, okay. here <laughs> yeah awesome boss awesome. okay hmm. so tadeva okay idanim okay kincha kavi asmin वृंदावन संचारिण श्रीकृष्ण से चरित उपवर्ण्य सूचित चरित उपवर्ण्य सो वाट 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 मोर इन दिस पोएम इन दिस काव्य वृंदावन संचारिण श्रीकृष्ण से ऑफ दैट कृष्ण हू वॉज वॉन्ड्रिंग अरउंड इन दर्स्ट ऑफ वृंदावन तस्या चरित हिस् हिस् हिस्ट्री एंड हिस् हिस् लाइफ डिस्क्राइब यूर उपवर्ण्य Mm. Yeah, because that is also uh, conveyed by the poet uh, Mangala so, Shloka. So that's so, what I said. Vastu Nirdesha. So that's the Vishesha. Yeah. So what is the Vishesha? One day, Vadi Abhivadan Stutyo. Uh, so that is the Dhatu uh, entering the Dhatu Pada. Tertiary Prayoge Latla Kara Ha One Day Iti Uttam Purushai Kavana Miti Vrindavane Charati Iti Vrindavana Chara Ha So Upadha Samasa Ha Okay Fine. जयम तनुते इति जयंती ओ इति एश ओ दिस इज आल्सो ओ हो जयम तनुते ओ आई सी तो तन दातु जय जय तन हां उपपद समास बा हां जयम तनुते इदे मर्दने वृंदावने चरति यू हैव अ दिस थिंग बट वृंदावने चरति द दातु इज चर सो सो वृंदावन चर है इट्स वेरी ऑबवियस द रिपोर्ट रिकर அதனா வந்து ரொம்ப எடுத்துன்ற கூடாது இல்ல இது ஒரு ஸ்பெஷலா இருக்கு வியாக்கன ரூல் இருக்கீங்க ஜெயந்தி அப்படின அந்த தனு தந்தாது அப்படி அந்த தீய எப்படி मारனது பாப்போம் சரி இட் கேன் பீ லைக் கம் தாது பிகம்ஸ் கஹ லைக் யூ நோ தட்னா தி நேசல் கெட்ஸ் ட்ராப்ட் ஓகே ஸ்ரீ லிங்க பிரத்யாத் ஸ்ரீ பிரத்யாஸ் பீன் ஆடட் யா ஓகே ஓபன் தி சமாசா தென் வைஜெயந்தி விபூஷணம் யஸ்ய ததிதி பஹுரிஹி வைஜெயந்தி சோ பஹுரிஹி சமாசா சோ அலங்காரஹ அத்ர விசேஷணானாம் ஒரு <laughs> it's called parikara ankura alankara ankura <laughs> ah, where uh, uh, the the visheshya itself is a sabhipraya visheshya ah, 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 so ah. that is parikara ankura alankara okay so here it's just parikara okay mm. okay but i mean i mean th- th- this kind of interpretation of alankaras depends on the skill of the vyakhyakara because Absolutely. it's not okay they should to give this guna chatushtayam it's you know, it's very difficult for another person to come and bring the meaning in mm. okay so so vande vande vrinda vande vrinde iti va vande vrinda iti vallavi vallabham iti jayanti vaijayanti iti varna okay varna samatvat anuprasah nama shabda alankara okay okay he just introduces shabda alankara here this is an anuprasa alankara where if you look at the first uh, uh uh there is a repetition of the words if you one, see one. vande vande immediately immediately there is a 
repetition of the set of consonants yes. here vallavi jana vallabham adi and antam and yes. then here you have here jayanti and then here vai jayanti yeah bhavanta vallabhushan okay evam evam so it's ah. same dhvanishchatra kavehe bhagavati rati hi ah evam dhvanyate mm. so the 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 rati the pleasure the kavi takes or the bhakti the kavi has has for bhagavan yeah uh, is 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 uh, suggested here is implied here yeah mm-hmm. okay so Chanda. the chandas here it says yugma vipula avrittam yugma vipula matra chandaha matra chandaha matra chandaha var but you can just take it as anushtub also abhi yeah okay yeah because it, i mean i've never heard of this sigma because it definitely is not a vritti based chandas it's matra probably Yasyam laha saptame yugme sa yugma vipula. It's a uh, um, refinement on uh, anushtup. Oh, yeah, it's not matra. Saptame laghu and then yugme only only in two and four. The seventh Ah. is laghu. Two and four. Okay, the second Uh, one is what pada. Okay, I see. Vallabha and then bhushana. Instead of Sambhavam Dhamma, this is Guru, right? Here it can either be Guru or Lagu. He has not given any conditions for 1 and 3. Only for 2 and 4, he gives the condition that the 7th should be uh, Lagu. When I look at Vritratna Kara, sometimes I don't get all the variations of Anishtub. Where are you looking? How do you get it? Yasyam Laha Sattame Yugme sa yugma vipula mata. Just Got look it. for, search for it. If it is not there, then someone in the Madri Edadur Kaviatala they must have mentioned. So you just take it from there. Then, uh, is there any other work that is more comprehensive as far as? There are a couple of things like Chando Manjari. There is one Hindi okay. Kara who has, Hindi person who has done mm. Chando Vichiti. Yeah, I don't know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll, I'll check which book no, that no, is. No. ಕವಿ ಪ್ರಸ್ತಾವ So he oh. says, how can I, you know, just like how uh, right. Kvasurya Prabho Vamsha Kvachalpa Vishayamati uh, Dustaram Mohat, right? Udupe Nasmi Sagaram. Like how Kalidasa says, you will find a lot of comparisons between Vedanta Deshika and Kalidasa in the next few shlokas. Oh, oh. yeah. It's become a tradition almost after Kalidasa, like for people to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people follow this. Follow It's this. there. Mm. but one thing when i look at this book i have this book on uh, yeah, with the commentary of dikshita mm. he, it's he says something about uh, go nutrika bandha he's got some diagrams uh, yeah some yeah of... that those all come at the end no you have I, the entire no, work not the entire work up uh, like in the beginning like he's just given some before the sadga one begins he's given some diagrams in the, what is the, what is what is, is it like some word play or some akshara play that's going on like yeah yeah so uh, they write a shloka the shlokas can be arranged in the form of a bandha mm. so it can be actually it will be transferred into a shloka itself padma bandha abdi na adu apdi chendru and edathla so you have idu uh, endha shlokam nu vera potirukkare inga which one are you looking at the na ya uh and the, for example ninga pathinga padma bandha nu sonninga less so 6.105 ah yes 6 not 6.105 and yeah adla you start from 1 so the shloka will be vasena smin puja tato dyara tato ah okay puja ato dyara va it comes back to va again ಪೂಜಾ ಕಪ್ಪ ಪೂಜಾ ಆತೋದ್ಯ ಸೊ ಪೂಜಾ ಆತೋದ್ಯ 
and then you go from 16 17 again ra and dia have two numbers there if you oh, see oh, oh, oh. oh i see so, so you'll have to come back oh, so va ra dia vi va ra va. ya avir bhuta avir bhuta jeeva jeeta tradina seva apdi varudhu oh ho inga 20 inga irukku idhu inga 20 ennadhu 20 da da v irukke left side la ponuma you'll have to you start from here and then oh. circle around come like this onnu onnathukku ipdi namba epdi or kolam poduvomo ipdi oh i see do you I know see. how you do the petals go oh, in oh, and go out and take a petal go I in see. go out take a petal i see so the letters are arranged in that format so the shloka itself comes in that format these are all called uh, uh, shabdalankaras these are all bandhas i see so i mean so this is a small number of syllables he uses mm. it, he uses the same syllables again and again to construct the shloka yes and and therefore the circling movement which you can do you can imagine that in the form of a lotus yes i see i see mm. idella these are called bandhas there is an aga bandha oh, wow uh, amazing and <laughs> i mean uh, this is just simply amazing mm. okay is anybody else want to read or um che na shloka mudichudren then adukulla please yaarukku padikenumo you can start for the pratyadartha okay yadaike ekaika guna prante shranta nigamavandinah yathavad varnane tasya kimuta anye mitam pachah yad ekaika guna prante nigamavandinah shranta bandi or vandi are uh, um, those people who are sthuti patakas usually kings have uh, uh, there are there are people called vandi or magadhi or stuti patakas who uh, announce the time who tell the king that okay it is summer time you have to do this now uh, usually they didn't have clocks or anything to tell them the time so these people used to do that they would wake them up they would then ask them from one place to another uh, for announcements and all these stuti patakas used to say that oh the great king is now entering into the darbar Or they will recite two three shlokas this is very common in uh, natakas you will find the role of these stuti patakas very uh, uh, high in natakas usually here for the lord uh, vishnu you have De- vedas which are like stuti pataka they are, the vedas are there to talk about the qualities of the supreme but those vedas also they have become very tired nigama vandinah nigamah eva vandinah vedah eva vandinah those uh, bards or stuti patakas which are the vedas here have become shrantah they have become very tired by describing just one guna to the end yet ek not even full guna pranta pranta is just like a border they have just started to describe the uh, quality one quality of uh, vishnu and they have become already tired it seems so yet yasya parameshwarasya bhagavatah ekaika guna prante in in front of just one guna they have become very tired uh, what to say yathavad varnane tasya if they have to describe the lord completely in his full uh, nature yathavat as is if you have to describe him completely what to say of it kimuta tasya yathavad varnane tasya kimuta anye mitam pachah so yat ekaika guna prante shrantah yathavad varnane anye mitam pachaha eva mitam pachaha ityute mitam pachati one who just can cook only little bit that's the literal meaning here but the rudhyartha here is kshudraha they, they cannot transform uh, thoughts into words uh, very well they are they are they only are very kshudraha eva nichaha eva ityartha mitam pachaha ityute so those who are not capable of it so what to say of normal people like me uh, the vedanta dishka starts this off by saying that even vedas are unable to say uh, describe the guna of uh, 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 vishnu i have started to talk about his abhyudayam here 
i'm trying to go uh, describe him beautifully so what do i do about it i'm definitely not uh, uh, samartha it's a uh, it's a vedanta deshika showing his humility here hmm? um chankri want to try ah asu mari oh dev one second one yeah. second uh in the previous one uh, uh, i know not right now but maybe later you can can you add that that uh, note about the vishnu purana thing ha huh. okay vanamala ka uh, okay padikra po thara i mean i'll forget uh, if you have it in the note i can, I can look it look it up yeah 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 i'll do that mm. at the end pratipadasaha nigama vandinaha nigamaha agamaha vedaha eva rikya ju sama vedaha eva atharva ृशवर्म Mm. as is uh, due for him you know to make justice like uh, to do justice to the description of Parama- paramatma ha sam yatha arham samyak varne varnane stavane anye mitam pachaha kshudraha kimuta asamarthaha iti kimu vaktavyam मनुष्यादिषु मंतमी ड्रैवी भगवत उपनिषदोचर You no, know, something that cannot be reached by uh, words. He is beyond the words. Iti vadanti. And Vedas also come within the realm of shabda only. So sthavana shila ha Veda ha. At the end of it, it also says, you know, it Bhagavan is beyond words. Vajam agochara ha. Iti. So that's why he says they, they also are stotum asamartha ha. Chet. If even the Vedas are uh, incapable of uh, praising, then Manushya Dishu among people, one who is present among people, Santam api guna lesham, even even a little bit of guna which is present in Bhagwan, varna yitum asamartha ha. They are incapable of describing the guna lesha which is present in Bhagwan. Not to say of something which is beyond conception, something which we see in Bhagwan, we are trying to describe. Then how can we describe it? असमर्था 
வேதாந்தத்தை தேசிக்கணும் இதுல இருந்து கட் பேஸ்ட் பண்ணிருப்பா அதனால எதையாவது விட்டுருப்பா சோ நமக்கு வந்து அங்க அந்த இடத்துல பூரணம் பண்ணணும் கல்யாண குணம் சாக்கல்யேன வர்ணயித்தும் அசமர்த்தாஹா இது மனுஷாஹா ம் ஹா மனுஷியாதிஷு வர்ணயித்தும் அசமர்த்தாஹா குத்ராஹா ஓகே ஓகே you know what he is saying மனுஷியாதிஷு சந்தம் குணலேஷம் வர்ணயித்தும் அசமர்த்தாஹா தஸ்மின் பகவதி புனஹ ந வக்தவியமேவ அசமர்த்தாஹ ஏவ இது if i want to describe a quality that is present in a person in a man in a human that itself is very difficult for very ordinary people mm. no, there are other poets who are capable of describing people mm. right they may not be capable of describing bhagwan but people yes but khudraha tu tatra they become incapable of describing even one gunam in people so what to say of a parab of the gunas in bhagwan tasmin bhagavati அசமர்த்தா இது புனஹ ந வக்தவியமேவ ஐ டோன்ட் நீட் டு ஸ்பெசிபிக்லி சே தட் இட் இஸ் வெரி டிஃபிகல் டு டிஸ்கிரைப் பகவான் குணாஸ் கிந்து அர்த்த சித்தமேவ பரந்து இந்த ஸ்லோகா இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் தி ஸ்லோகா இட் இஸ் நாட் சஜஸ்டட் தட் மனுஷ்யாதிஷு சந்தம் அபி நோ நோ நேஷம் இது ஸ்லோகா ஸ்லோகே நாஸ்தி ஸ்லோகே நாஸ்தி தட்ஸ் வை இட்ஸ் பாவார்த்த இட்ஸ் आवर ओन டேக் ஹூவர் இஸ் கமெண்டேட்டர் ஹி இஸ் டேக் சொந்த சரக் சித்த <laughs> 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 It is not given there. As you said, you know, it is not given in the shloka per se. Artha Siddham. It is understood by meaning. Artha Siddham may be right. Whatever he is coming straight from his commentary. In this part of it. Visheshaha. Kavayaha Vedanta Deshikaha Shri Krishna Gunasthave Svasamartyam Prakatayantaha Svavinayam ஆவிஷ்குர்வந்தி ம் சோ इट्स क्लियर द मीनिंग इज क्लियर सो वेदांत देशिका ट्राइज टू शो हिज ह्यूमिलिटी बाय सेइंग दैट ही इज शोइंग हिज इनकैपेबिलिटी इन डिस्क्राइबिंग कृष्णास गुण हां अवश्यम वंदते इति वंदि हां या ओ अवश्यम वंदते इति वंदि यता अहम् அமர <laughs> 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 கதரியானிங் Mm. that also works here mm. alankara mm. alankara ha atra kavita uh, kavina kavina atra kavina uh, sva ashakti uh, pratipadana roopa prastuto vishaya aprastuta samanya yo uh, upanyasa uh, samartita ha iti artantra nyasa alankara na na apra aprastuta prashamsa alankara change it to aprastuta but i changed yeah, yeah. right yeah. aprastuta alankara 
ஆமா இட் இஸ் நாட் அர்த்தாந்திரன்யாச இட் இஸ் அப்பிரஸ்து பிரசம்சா அலங்கார கவேஹே காவியாரம்பே ஸ்வவினய ஆவிஷ்கரணாய ஸ்வ அசக்தி பிரதிபாதனே பிரஸ்துதே so what is the prastutam here so this is aprastuta prashamsha is the word itself tells you that it is the prashamsha it is praising something which is non contextual aprastutam prastutam what is the context here context is the kavi wants to tell his ashakti his asamarthyam his incapability so kavina sva ashakti pratipadana roopaha prastutaha vishayaha அப்பிரஸ்துத சாமானிய உபன்யாசாத் பட் வாட் இஸ் இட் டிஸ்கிரைப் சோ லெட்ஸ் லெட்ஸ் கோ பேக் டு த்லோக ஹியர் இசேஸ் நிகம வந்தினா அந்நே மிதம் பச்சாஹா வேதாஸ் கேனாட் டிஸ்கிரைப் ஹிஸ் குணாஸ் தே ஆர் வெரி டயர்ட் சோ வாட் டு சே ஆஃப் அதர்ஸ் அதர் க்ஷுத்ர கவிஸ் திஸ் இஸ் சம்திங் ஹி இஸ் ஜென்ரலி ஸ்டேட்டிங் அபவுட் சம் காமன் பீப்புள் Vedas and other Kshudra people. He is comparing those two people. He has not even said that I am incapable of describing Krishna's guna. So the context here is Prasthutam tu atra sva shakti sva ashakti pratipadana roopaha eva atra prasthutaha vishayaha. So the contextual vishaya is where the Kavi wants to say that he is incapable of describing Krishna's gunas. But what does he in fact say and justify his statement he says aprastuta samanya upanyasat so he brings in a non contextual stuff and he justifies by way of saying that oh you know what to say of other neecha uh, kavis i am also a neecha kavi so it is very difficult for me to also describe iti arthat siddhati siddhyati artha siddham okay so in the words that is in the vachyartha you will only have a non contextual uh, uh, vishayam that is being presented you understand the contextual from the non context that is aprastuta prashamsa alankara one more okay. time so what uh, is vachya you are saying here is aprastuta yes aprastutasya eva prashamsa yatra kriyate பிரஸ்துதம் தூ அத்திர ந உக்தம் பிரஸ்துதம் கிம் த கவி ஹி வாண்ட்ஸ் டு சே ஐ கேனாட் டூ திஸ் உத் அஹம் சூரிய சூரிய வம்ச தட்ஸ் வாட் ஹி இஸ் சேயிங் ல கொச்சா அல்ப விஷயாமதி ஹி மை மதி வேர் இஸ் இட் தட் இஸ் வாட் காளிதாஸ் சேஸ் ஓஹோ ரைட் த தஹா அத்திர வேதாந்த தேசிகஹ தூ ந ஏவம் ந பக்தி ஹி டசன்ட் சே கிருஷ்ண குணஸ்ய வர்ணனே தூ அஹம் அசமர்த்தஹ அஸ்மி இதி Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he is suggesting, it, it, okay, it's not Vachya, but it is, uh, you can't say Prati Yamana. Prati Yamana, okay. That's all. It is a suggested, but then Aprastuta Prashamsaya, Aprastutena, Prastutaha Prati Yate. No, Yajyate Yate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can't call it as Dhvani. Can't call it as Dhvani, but okay. No. Yeah, because dwani is only when uh, the it, it it is actually an alankara dwani is only when you get uh... there is a context there the context is being described but you so the the earlier shloka what was the earlier shloka vande vrindavana charam vallavi jana vallabham jayanti sambhavam dama vaijayanti vibhushanam that was the context there mm-hmm. vedanta deshika was doing a namaskaram to krishna there that's mm-hmm. it that was your context there what is dwani Oh, see how beautifully he has described this. That definitely shows that he must have great uh, love for Krishna. Mm-hmm. That is something we extrapolate from the context. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, okay. okay. So, even though the alankara here is suggesting, is imp- implies uh, vyajyate. So, there is vyangya, but it mm-hmm. doesn't qualify as dhvani yet. Yes. So, for dhvani, that mix- missing element is... Can you... Chamatkara. Chamatkara. chamatkara okay okay so the chamatkara is hidden in the vachya the chamatkara is hidden in the vachya here it is yes not yeah. in the okay therefore it is not dwani i see Correct. even though it is vyangyartha okay got mm-hmm. it got it, mm-hmm. got it. okay yeah kimuta is ah 
sorry uh, that aprasthita alankara usually is it like uh, um, he doesn't want to jinx himself because he's just setting <laughs> out to do a kavyam so he doesn't want to say that i am not capable and all no, the words no. <laughs> so is this uh, aprasthita prashamsa alankara ham usually used in that kind of ways only mm, not necessary do you know uh, that that is not the case i can also describe uh, something that like positive uh, also can be in yeah, the prasthita prashamsa yes yes there are many examples there aprasthita prashamsa idilena kuvalayanandathla paathalna ungalku theriyum the example in kuvalayananda is very different no? okay. resume the recording aprasthut prashamsa syat sa yatra prasthut aashraya see this aprasthut prashamsa the aprasthut context non contextual vishayam that is being described in the vachya artha it cannot stand on its own without the prasthutam mm. mm. we we'll ask what is the connection why is he suddenly talking about uh, vedas and everything mm. what is the context here we need the context so it is automatically the context is being pulled in even though it is dhvani it is vyangya it is being pulled in as part of the vachaka here vachyartha do you understand that's why there is no dhvani there the example he gives is ekaha kriti shakunteshu yo anyam chakrat na yachate there is only one pakshi shakunteshu among the birds there is only one which is very Uh, kriti mani it is the most successful bird because it does not ask from anybody else other than indra ah. Ah. so in the yancha mogha varamadhi gune nadhame labdha kama nu mega sandeshathla varu it is it's in the kuttu pattalu modara kaiyala kuttu padnom bo and the example mm-hmm. okay the chataka pakshi is the best bird because it will not ask from anybody else other than directly from the heavens mm. Mm. so what is it to mean it it is uh, it is only aprastutam that's not the context here so you go on to a yachaka anybody who w- wants something from someone should always go and ask from someone who will be willing to give him also mm. even if he doesn't uh, give him at that moment he will definitely shower later Uh, heavily instead of asking someone who is uh, nichaha adhame labdha kama instead of getting your uh, uh, you know wishes fulfilled from a person who is a very nicha person adhamaha it is better to go to a person who will shower you with wealth aim mm-hmm. high rere chataka that chatanti and vritha Uh, you are unnecessarily shouting at all these megas don't do that only look at a, a cloud which is filled with the water bring up adu adhe mari dane it or most of niti shataka shlokas you will find that it's like an aprastuta prashamsa there so the the, the aprastuta is the chataka bird and the incident of looking at the rain but the prastuta is the is referring to the to the yachaka any yachaka yachaka who goes here you have to figure out who is the correct donor before you ask correct so that is the prastuta that is the suggestion. yes but but this, mm. these terms aprastuta and prastuta are, i mean in in the kavya shastra you should if you actually explain right but yeah. they don't really explain they just start off i assume that everybody knows what what is in the aprastuta and prastuta and idella it is like shaktam guru mukhaika vedyam madri aidu mukhaika vedyam but but it's but it's not necessary like you know you don't know i mean i i took it as prastuta means shloke ya dasti sareva prastuta ha iti maya chitta उपन्यासि Uh, this is an influence from mimamsa mm-hmm. so in mimamsa or in vedanta shastra arthapatti is a pramanam you have arthapatti alankara uh, upamana alankara separately you will have uh, shabda alankara all that so arthapatti is um, the example that we say is you know diva divana bhute pino devata divana bhute pao 
அந்த தேவதத்தனை போட்டு ஒரு இதுதான் பாடி ஷேமிங் பீனா தேவதத்தா அது சோ தேவதத்தா இஸ் வெரி லார்ஜ் பீனா ஹி இஸ் ஃபேட் பட் திவான புங்தே ஹி டசன் சீம் டு பி ஈட்டிங் டியூரிங் த டே so what do we understand we understand that he must have eaten in night ratri bhojanam atra arthapati pramanena gnayate adu da adu da base for this alankara hmm. but here in kavya shastram the way the alankara is usually expressed is kimuta what to say of it abringra and kimuta vandudtunnale then it is a arthapati alankara it's called kaimutika nyayam if this itself is possible then what to say of that uh, it's like mushikanam to uh, they they can uh, uh, eat even the shrinkala you know the iron uh, ayash shrinkala meva khadanti tarhi uh, what to say of the uh, small bhakshanam that we keep at home mm. so that that what to say of is actually a suggested portion mm. or it can it can be suggested or it can be in the vachyartham also like this if even the vedas were uh, uh, dif- it was difficult for the vedas then what to say of normal people that uh, expression is arthapati okay nigamaha eva vandinaha ityu abedha aropat rupakam rupakam is very clear here okay because uh, there is a metaphor it's not eva iti nasti tatra tasmat eva nigamaha eva vandinaha atra iti you are actually doing a superimposition so it is rupaka yete shamcha paraspara aashritataya sankaraha there are two alankaras which is sankara and samsrishti which talks about the mixing of alankaras sankara is usually kshira niranyaya and uh, samsrishti is தில்தண்டுலன் <laughs> Uh, uh only if you say that the vedas are stuti pataka can you say that they are trying to describe uh, krishna's gunas got it got it so it's that itself is the aprastuta context then mm. what to say of mitam pachaha if this itself is your premise which, with which you start off mm. then the next one automatically follows and depends on the first two mm. arthapati also follows mm. it's like a chain reaction if mm. one is not there the other won't happen yeah um, ஹாபி what mm. to say of kshudra janaha mm. madrishaha kshudra janaha mm. 